Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here, and in today's Linux tutorial, I'm going to show all of you Ubuntu users how to speed up your downloads using AppFast. Now you may have seen my video showing how to select the fastest mirror for your particular location. Well, we're going to take it one step further with AppFast. AppFast is a shell script wrapper. You can download it and it works with, uh, with uh, uh, AppGet and Aptitude and basically it will allow you to download those Ubuntu packages from multiple mirrors at the same time um, sort of like the way that uh, that BitTorrent works you know you're, you're pulling down chunks of a file from multiple locations and if you got a relatively quick internet connection um, you can really really speed up your uh, your your updates so to demonstrate this I've got a fresh installation of Ubuntu 15.10. The only thing that I've done to it is I added my screen recorder and uh, Ubuntu restricted extras so that I've got all the codexes that I need for uh, for doing this video. Um, that way there's there's going to be plenty of updates that need to be downloaded so that I can after we get this installed I can demonstrate uh, you know how it works and whatnot. And <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I'll have descriptions down below on on uh, you know all of the terminal commands to do this. I'm also going to do a full write up that I will post on my blog page ajrisic.com. You can go there and do the full read up, and it'll also have links for the video and all that kind of stuff. So that being said, let's get started. So to begin with, this is going to work on Ubuntu 14.04 and higher, as well as its derivatives. So, you know, Zorn OS, Linux Mint 17, you know, any of those, it's going to work. It'll also run, work on Debian. Um, it's a little bit different as far as downloading, installing, and if you want instructions on how to do it for, uh, for Debian, go to the write up on my web page and and read up on it there it's a little bit different not too much but uh, a little different so anyway uh, let me go and I'm just gonna copy and paste this from my notes over here so we're gonna add this repo I'm going to do sudo app get update. And then sudo app get install app fast. Enter. Do I wish to continue? Now, if you take a look before I go and hit yes. Uh, you can see here it says the following extra packages will be installed ARIA 2 and then all the rest of these. This ARIA 2 is a download manager. This is the part that essentially is allowing uh, AppFast to download from multiple mirrors at the same time. So let's click yes. Okay, so now I've got a little configuration to do as we install. Maximum, this is the maximum number of uh, mirrors that we want to download from at any given time. I'm going to leave it at, for, at 3, so click OK. Um, this does not affect package manager dialog, but download installable packages for suppress app fast confirmation dialog. I want to keep that as a no. And packing, installing, give it a few minutes to do all that, and we'll be good to go. Yep, there we are. So now that AppFast is installed, we need to go about configuring it. Um, we can't; it doesn't know what the closest five mirrors are to uh, to my location. We're going to have to do a little bit of searching for it. Now, I found probably the easiest way to do that is a tool called NetSelect. Uh, unfortunately, it is not in the Ubuntu official packages. Uh, and I could not find a PPA that has it. it. There is, however, a Debian package over at Debian. So what we will do, I uh, will leave you the link for this page right here. It's the download page for NetSelect. And since I'm in North America, I'm going to pick that. 
and we're going to download this to my downloads page after it download we're going to select it which will open up whatever you're using to uh, to install Debian packages in case of Ubuntu it's going to open up the software center unless you've added uh, GW or something like that so let's go and install net select give it a minute to install and then we can start using that tool okay that's done so net select is completely command line so I kind of wrote this up here and once again I'll leave this down below so that you can just copy and paste if you want so we're going to put in this little set of commands for net select essentially what I'm telling it to do is for Ubuntu I want it to find the, the five fastest mirrors um, when it's testing the mirrors I want 10 minimum retries and uh, and then it's going to spit out the list for me so we got all that in there and it's running its test we'll give it a minute or so and those are my five fastest mirrors and these are all mirrors that are not only are they the fastest but it has confirmed that they are all up to date there you know because sometimes you will find you know yeah such and such mirror is close to me and it's fast but it is you know it's six hours behind it's got corrupted packages whatever all of these are going to be you know up to date and whatnot now that we know our five fastest mirrors we can configure app fast so I'll tell you what, let's go and the way I'll do this is I'm going to open not a list with root privileges. So that I can show you where the file or the configuration file is. So go to compute computer etc and uh, find your configuration file. Here it is at fast.config. So we'll open that up in gedit. And let's kind of go through here. And it takes a little bit of searching to find what we want. Ah, here we go. Right here, it, where it tells, you know, it, it's going to select what, uh, what mirrors we're using. So all we need to do then, pull this up again, make a little room here. Okay, so we can just essentially copy and paste. We're going to copy that and we'll just paste it right in here. And you can actually take that backslash off there. And then you separate mirrors with a comma in a space. So we'll just copy and paste all of these from this list. Okay, all those are in the list. Now one final thing, if you look right here next to where it says mirrors, a little pound sign next to it, get rid of that pound sign because it will not read that mirror list if that pound sign is there and we'll just save the file again and close it up and we should be ready to go now you could have done all that in the terminal if you are comfortable doing that I just uh, I thought it'd be easier to demonstrate running it in uh, in gedit Okay, so now that all of that has been done, we should be ready to go. So, uh, terminology for app fast is essentially the same as what you do for app get. So normally, if we're going to run um, an update, we, we would do 
sudo apt get update. Okay, we're going to do sudo app fast update. And this part of things does not run any faster than it does with app, with app get. The actual downloading of the packages is where the speed difference is going to be. So now let's say if you wanted to install just a single package you would do you know sudo app get install and then the package name okay all that is still going to be the same except you're going to substitute app fast for doing a full upgrade which is what I'm going to demonstrate here um, you normally you would do sudo app get upgrade or maybe dist upgrade we're going to do sudo app fast upgrade all right so it'll ask you if you want to download packages on your first on your system press yes or n to abort we're going yes and here we go Now remember, this is a fresh installation of 15.10, um, and there I, I checked before I started the video, and there was, what was it, somewhere in the neighborhood of 600 megabytes of updates uh, that needed to be downloaded. So there was a fair number of packages that needed to be downloaded to do this full upgrade. Here we go, uh, 158 upgrades. Yeah, there's there's a fair amount here. Normally, you know, on a uh, with doing a fresh installation of 1510, you know, when I would do my uh, when I would do an upgrade, I'd set it up to run the upgrade and then walk away to do something else or you know work on something else while it's downloading and whatnot, um, just because it takes so long. But if you notice, you know, it's already installing all those packages you know way back here when you know it told let me find it you know where it sound you know way back here when it told us all the packages that would be upgraded it was done with the downloads already so I mean the download part of things really really fast the difference uh, or I should say the thing that's not going to be different is how long it takes to install so like a big upgrade like this yeah the download um, goes really fast but it's not going to go any faster in the installation part of things uh, 158 packages that takes a while to install so I'm going to get that out of the way drag it on over here but uh, you know you can see how long how you know how quick the actual download was when you get these periodic security updates from Ubuntu those go you know just lightning fast just because there's um, you know it's not a big file anyway so it's just like boom it's it's almost instantly downloaded and then of course the install doesn't take very long because it's not a big file um, I will say that a lot of as far as how fast this is, is going to be dependent on one availability of of mirrors you know if 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 there are no local mirrors um, you know even if you're pulling down from say five mirrors uh, yeah you're going to improve speed but not significantly so that's an issue and then also your internet connection your internet connection may be a bottleneck uh, if you've got a slow connection, app fast probably is not going to help you out. However, if you if you have a quick uh, a connection, um, you know app fast, <clears throat> depending on the availability of those mirrors, can really really speed things up for you. But anyway, on that note, I think that finishes this video up. I hope that you found it useful. 
As always, leave comments, questions, all that kind of stuff down below. I will leave links to the write-up on my blog page as well as uh, links to uh, the GitHub page for, uh, for AppFast so you can read a little bit about it and that sort of thing. And uh, I hope to see you all on my next video. Thanks a lot.